Hey guys, as you guys perhaps may already know, I am what you may call a drone geek. And recently, as some of you already subscribed to this channel may know too, I have also recently bought myself the DJI FPV drone. Anyway, almost a month into buying the drone, I decided to buy myself some ND filters for this drone. For those of you who don't know what ND filters are, they basically are like sunglasses for your camera. So you use them to reduce the amount of light that reaches your camera sensor so you can use low shutter speeds. I had to buy them because the DJI FPV drone camera doesn't come with any adjustable aperture. Because of that, I was always ending up shooting at extremely high shutter speeds with this drone and that made the footage look really quite jarring. To get more cinematic looking shots, you need to follow the 180 degree shutter rule which is doubling your shutter speed with the frame rate. Since I can only shoot in 4K 60p on this drone, that means I need a shutter speed of at least 1 1 20th of a second to make it look more cinematic and have that natural looking motion blur. It's a shame that this drone doesn't come with 4K 30p or even 24p shooting modes. Hopefully DJI will come out with a firmware update to address this real soon. So this is why I made this video because I decided that I'm not going to be flying this drone much longer until I sort out the jarring footage issue that I have with this drone. So in late March, I placed myself in order to get these guys. ND filters made by Freewell. To be really honest with you, before this, I had never bought any Freewell products at all. In fact, my last purchase for ND filters for my drone was a set of Polar Pro filters I bought for my Mavic 2 Pro and that's ages ago. But this time around, since Freewell were the first ones to make filters for the DJI FPV drone, I decided to try them out anyway. I have been hearing quite a lot of good reviews about them, so I guess I wasn't really taking any big risk trying them out anyway. Okay, so let's first talk about the build quality and the packaging in general of these filters. I must say the overall build quality is really good and it doesn't scream out at all in any way as being a cheaply made product, which is really nice to know. So I was definitely happy about that. In terms of specs, the filters are made from high quality dust proof, scratch resistant, oil proof and has a neutral glass color coating on them. In the box also it comes with four different ND filter grades from ND4 all the way up to ND32. And I'd say that the ND grades covers most scenarios in my opinion since I generally don't really fly during midday and tend to only fly mostly during golden hours. Freewheel also included a microfiber wiping cloth too which I really like since I'm always accidentally touching the filters with my fingers. The filters also comes with a lifetime warranty and that's really nice to know that you have some peace of mind knowing that this product is backed up by a lifetime warranty. In terms of usage, what really is nice about these filters is that it doesn't disrupt the drone's gimbal in any way. However, one of the things I didn't really like about the filter and I know it is nitpicking is the fact that this filter is quite large so I can't use the cover once I have the filter on because there are times that you just want to use the cover back on but I can't do that with these filters and it's just one more thing that you need to do every time before you fly the drone which is putting on these filters. Anyway here are some sample shots that I took using these filters. So far I'm definitely liking the fact that I am able to see a little more motion blur especially when I fly real close to things. I think that really can make the footage look smoother and more cinematic in my opinion. Also I did find that the filters really are good at not having any real color cast that I could generally perceive. So color grading the footage isn't that difficult since there's not too much to worry about in terms of color cast. Okay, so in a nutshell, what do I think about these filters and do I think that it is worth buying? Well, after using it for a bit now, I must say it does make my footage look less jarring and a little bit more smoother and definitely more cinematic. For me, if you really are concerned about making your shot have that little bit of oomph, then I would definitely recommend investing in these filters as they will make your footage have that bit more finesse in them. Right, I guess that's it for this short review on the Freewell ND filters for the DJI FPV drone. If you did find this review useful, please don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe and also links to all the gears that I use to make these videos are down in the description below. I have also left links to my Lightroom presets down below too. Do check them out if you do have the time and yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.